one other thing. When you get a chance, send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Marcus should do it, but that ain't a good idea. The body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. How are you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that gonna help us? I'd speak to Dutch about that. safe now. <coughs> She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. <coughs> keep warm. All of you, keep warm. Just a few more days and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation Chooseth the tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain? We should have a little food if you're hungry, Mrs. Adler. I, I ain't hungry. The okay, man. Nothing. Well, he makes you just ask Mary Beth here. Has vanity. Yay, just look yay. after her. They I'll do my best. Be Poor woman. Yea, Been through a lot. They shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. You better and happier now, Jack. Blow upon them, Will he be okay? Yeah, I think so. Just needs to rest. Double. To whom you know how these things like go. Me, We've been through I bad be times equal, before. Say it, yep. Lift up your eyes on high and behold, just need some thaw so we can get those wagons out. I know. We'll be okay. Them all by names, by the okay, Mr. For that he is I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Thing. Marston. Some good news at least. Why sayest yep. thou, O Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord. All and quiet here while we were gone? From God. I think so. I slept for most Hast of it. <laughs> Typical. Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the... You okay, Abigail? Yeah. Not, How'd you boys get on with the old Driscolls? It's dealt with. For now, anyway. He gave us power to the <sighs> you doing okay now? No I think so. Thank you. Of course. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. 
That's real pretty, Reverend, but what on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't, but it brings me comfort. You are a silly, silly man. You really are. You got any miracles for us, Reverend? I wish I did. Eaten by wolves. Yep. Never heard such Need a something. idea. Who gets themselves eaten by wolves? I mean, really, who? I didn't mean to, Abigail. You never mean to, but you always do. Always trouble. Well, I've certainly made my mistakes. What's that supposed to mean? Whatever you want it to. You are an annoying man, John Marston. I mean, you just shut up and get some rest. You feeling any better? Uh, not a whole lot. Can't seem to get warm. Well, I'm hoping we can get out of here soon. Good morning. Arthur. How are you feeling? I'm doing all right, considering. That's the spirit. Just get us off this damn mountain. Hey, Karen. I'm glad you boys made it back all right. We was worried. Yeah, hopefully we can get out of this hell hole soon. Scratch myself and feign a limb. Ain't you got nothing better to do? Whatever the beef is between you two, now ain't the time. I'm only joking, Marston, you know that. Yeah, well, you really pick your moments. Hey, I ain't serious. Well, ain't none of us in a joking mood right now. <sighs> Look, we're gonna get through this. Anyway, try not to worry. Good enough. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the O'Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Seems that way. Guess that worked out with the O'Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train and get out of here. Yeah. Them wagons are still snowed in. So, how you feeling about this train? I mean, we gotta do something. Yeah, but <laughs> that's more than something.
They'll come looking for me, you know. Or maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who was that? Declan? Fat Tommy? We didn't get as far as introductions. Oh, oh God. You okay in here, Charles? All right, considering. Well, try to rest that hand. You got lucky. We kept you alive. I'd rather be dead. Patience, my friend. Patience. Starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea. For 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough. enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn. I imagine. Come on. This way. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Yeah! <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but... You sure weren't good.
There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Easy. There's deer been here. And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Now, Arthur. Take your time. yourself too obvious. Go put it out of its misery. Yeah. 
That way. What are you doing? Well, it's dead now. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. We'll grab the other one. Not bad, boy. Head back. Oh. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. View fountain. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's Shot. easier when they ain't shooting back. Oh, watch it. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, but well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. So, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she has. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? 
I suppose. Hell, yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. We must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. That's a bad idea. Have you seen the size of it? Something like that? They didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't no more the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Uh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. Tell me a few other things, and then Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Time over here. Got some food back, boys. Right. Come on, get these. 
he's over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, yeah. see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town, if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. 